Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition where we are on Pharos finishing up some crazy missions and right now we just like talked to this VI and he gave us a lot of information about the Thorian and now Commander Shepard, Caden and Ashley are pretty confident in exactly why Saren is interested in coming here in the first place and the Gath I should say. Um, so basically we are going to continue on and we are going to finish this mission today like we're going to finish it I don't care how long it takes oh oh my god they're praying I feel really bad I just like killed them while they were praying the Geth have anchored their ship to the building with these claws the Geth certainly aren't so how do we cut the power if it's coming from the ship Maybe we can swat it off. One of these claws has to have a weak spot. Okay, hold on. Let me let me go over here. What is this place? Almost looks like the Geth built themselves some kind of church. Hey, if they're looking for God, I'd be happy to speed them on their way. What is this place? Oh, I already did Almost that. This looks like the Geth built themselves some kind of church. Hey, if they're looking for God, I'd be happy to speed them on their way. <laughs> Ashley, you little cheeky. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I liked that scene, but it was a little weird. <laughs> like, uh, I was like, I felt bad because I was like killing them with, they, and they weren't even defending themselves. They were just praying. It just felt wrong. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. That'll that'll happen. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay, let's put this away. What should I talk to him again? Keep your guard up. This place is probably crawling with the gas. Okay, on. Okay, yeah. This way. It's Krogan. Where's the other Krogan? Oh, there he is. Oh no, we've blocked our way. Um, this is not ideal. And mm, just saying. Okay, hold on. Let's get get. Let's move move the furniture. Move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Okay, hold on. I I literally can't get through still. Okay, I gotta throw it. There we go. Okay. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. There we go. Okay. After a few seconds of downloading, you secure Gavin Hostel's de de design data. Yep, yay. There we go. Got it. Okay, that's good. Okay. So I gotta be careful with my dicks, and that's probably gonna not let me through. That sucks. I'm gonna gel. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, hold on a second. Is this a dead end? This is a dead end. Okay, hold on. Let me let me let me do this. Okay, there we go. All right. So I'm gonna save again, but I actually don't know where we're going. <laughs> I'll be real. Yeah, I'm a little lost. Journal, journal. So Pharaoh's da data recovery. Gotta go back to him. Okay, that's the only thing, yeah. Okay, good. I did all the other Pharos missions. Okay. So let's get rid of that. Okay, so where do I go? Oh, there. This way. Oh. Down or up? Okay, it looks like up. Omni. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Here we go. No, I don't. I meant to do that. Dang. Use my singularity in the wrong spot for sure. 
Okay, hold on. Uh, done. Test samples were due to arrive three days ago, but we haven't heard anything from the colony or the cargo vessel. We suspect samples became volatile and recommended cutting off the further... For cutting off all further contact with Noda Crux Colony. Even if the colony is discovered, no one should be able to trace the events there back to us. What the heck is going on here? Um, I love it. I love it. These, this, this looks pretty cool. But, um, what are we doing? Ugh, get up, get up. Okay. No, why am I? Dang it, I'm crouched down now. Okay, there we go. Alright, I think there's more people over here. Same as before. We don't have the ordinance to blow this claw. Let's keep looking. But there's some geth over here. Yes, there is. Oh, whoa. Get him, come here. Aw, oh, man, how did I miss him? What do you miss this, Commander? Looks like a containment lab. Whatever. We just need to find a way to break even one claw, and that ship is out of here. True. All right, I'm saving so many times. I know. Okay, uh, okay, so let's go here. Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to use these computers. I, am I supposed, is there any computers that I can use? I don't think so, because it's Geth technology, right? How would I use Geth technology? I don't trust the Cerberus group. Oh, we're picking up assignments, y'all. I just realized we're picking up assignments. Oh, we got something over here. I don't even think I've ever come to that either, because that's brand new too. Okay, so we're gonna go here. You find a repair ticket attached to the console. The damn door, uh, the damn door to the shuttle bay is fried again. It works fine if the PSI is 30 or lower and safety is shut off, kicks in if the PSI gets above 34. But if the PSI is in the 31 to 34 zone, the door slams down with enough power to shear through a metal eye, eye beam or one beam or L beam. Somebody fix this before one thing, before one of my team loses an arm on that thing. Okay, so we need to get it to uh, 34. Okay, so 13. All right, so that's 18. All right. Ah, damn it. Damn it. Wait, I, which one did I choose? Oh, that I didn't mean to choose that one. Oops. <laughs> Clearly, I'm not adding it up right. Okay, so 17, um, 13. This is it, right? I think this situation falls under the. Yeah. All right, the door out will be open now. We can head back and deal with the Thorian thing. Well, that got the job done. Damn, I'd like to have seen the face on their pilot when that thing toppled. I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander, talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. They can't do any real damage. We're on our way back. Just hold your position. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll just wait right here for you, Commander. This place will be crawling with Geth in a minute. Keep together and we'll get out of here in one piece. All right, let's do it. Was there a box of something that I saw come available when this thing fell out of the sky? 
Or was that my imagination? I guess it was my imagination. Damn it! I wanted more supplies! Wait, maybe it was over here? Let me double check. Just in case. Oh yeah, no. It was literally my imagination. It was just my imagination once again. Running away with me. Lisbeth. She's a bad girl. We found out some stuff about you, Lisbeth. There you are. We should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. I need some answers. You knew more about the Thorian than you let on. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I, I... I never meant for this to happen. You did what you could. I'll help them, if you can tell me where to find the Thorian. The Thorian is underneath Zoo's Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm chatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. All right. Well, you know, you did want to try to do the right thing eventually, which is, which is awesome. Where did she go? Coming with us. I don't see you with us. She's like, I'm already in the Mako. <laughs> like, I don't have time for this crap. Let me go in the Mako. Okay. All right. Let's see that what we got here. Wait a minute. Why am I going backwards? Okay, there, there we go. More get to kill. Woohoo! Oh wait, hold on. Should I check to see if there's anything over here? Nah. Nah. Oh wow. It's a lot of get. This is 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 a lot of get. It's okay. I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. Whew. That was close. Close, but no cigar. Okay. Oh. I almost crashed. Well, I did, technically. Uh, why is this in my way? Get out of my way. Is there anybody? Is there anyone picking this up? Get away from that radio. What was that all about? This is Juliana Bainham of Pharaoh's Colony. Please help us. It's my mom. Stop! Stop the rover! Oh yeah, we're getting out too. Don't worry. Hold on, let me save it. Where'd she go? There she is. You can't do this, Jong. Everyone shut up. Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! Shepard, damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what you did during the Blitz, but your heroics aren't needed here. We can talk this out. Nobody needs to get hurt. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. 
You're after the one unique thing Pharos has, the Thorian. The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus Hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. No! No! I won't let you hurt these people anymore. Drop your weapon, or be prepared to use it. If, if that's the way it has to be? Heck, come on, come on! As if we don't have enough problems. Now we're shooting each other in the back. It's my fault. I knew what was going on, and I didn't do anything. Don't you start. You do good work, and you know it. So what now, Commander? I'll deal with the Thorian, then make sure you're safe. The colonists won't let you near the Thorian. They die first. They're under its control. What else am I supposed to do? There's got to be another way. I think there is. You could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopine, a neuromuscular degenerator. If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. Dodgy. But it just might work. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. Equip your grenades with anti-thorian gas upgrade. This will disable infected colonists without killing them. We'll stay out of your way until you clear a path. Okay, so this is something that I have a really hard time with. Uh, take all. Wait, what am I? What the heck just happened there? Okay, so we're gonna go to equipment. Uh, I think this is my grenade launcher. And anti-thorian gas. Okay, anti-thorian gas, right? Okay. Okay. All right. I wasn't able to do this last time. So this is a big step up. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed. Thank you. I was there anyway. It was the least I could do. Well, I appreciate it. Here, you've certainly earned this. Thanks again, Commander. My pleasure, and that's a lot of credits. Holy moly, you're very generous. So Jenny Corp appreciates your cooperation in securing its colonial assets. Exogeny Corp appreciates your cooperation. Exogeny Corp appreciates. Wow, it's that's not scripted at all. We're supposed to fight, and they wiped out our defenses. If I survive. It just can't get worse than we've been Why build Okay, they're all saying the same stuff. I hope you can get us out. I literally have helped a lot, but we ride when the attack that those other ones, they're like just scripted. They're like, we don't want anything to do with you, Shepard. You know what? That's fine. It's fine, it's your loss. I'm amazing. Alright. Let's go. Alright, let's do it. Oh, 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 whoa. Oh, my gosh. There we go. More Geth. Yay! More opportunity for XP. Alright. Here we go. Got them all. Okay. Save this. Oh, this is the creepy guy by the fence.
Yeah, and you are gonna die. Yep, that what was. Is that? There's no way that's human. Infection or not. No hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. You got it, Commander. Let's do this. Okay, so I am needing, first of all, how do I throw a grenade? So I need to go to my key bindings. Grenade, 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 grenade. Throw, okay, perfect. So it's just G. So let me just throw one. There we go. Okay. And when does it blow up? Oh, okay, whatever. All right, let's try this. Fire in the hole. Uh, fire. Uh, yeah, like I'm hoping that they all. Let's go. Come on. All right. Die. Okay. There we go. All right. And Here it comes. Yay. Incoming. Come on. There we go. Okay, 16 colonists alive. Damn straight. I'm doing well so far. Okay. All right, this is actually so much easier. Last time I had to melee them all because I didn't know how to use a grenade. It was so embarrassing. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Where's my grenade? Wait, do, do I not have any more grenades? I don't have any more grenades. You know what that means? I gotta go back. So, uh, what that means is that I can't just use them willy-nilly. I have to be strategic with how I use the grenades. Oh, boy. What is that? There's no way that's human. Infection or not? Careful. No hitting the colonists. Even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. You got it, Commander. Let's do this. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to equip my pistol. Because it's a little bit more accurate than equipping the, uh, than using the assault rifle. Okay, so all those can die. So these I'm going to kill. All right. And I'll throw them. Okay, 16 colonists alive still. Beautiful. And now I'm gonna use my one grass grenade to get all of them. So I only have six. There we go, come on, come on. Go off. Why isn't it going off? Are you kidding me? Okay. Ah, oh, this bitch. Okay, hold on, how do I melee, hold on. Yes, I can melee her. Oh, thank God. Oh, all righty. So when the gas grenades don't work, melee, melee, melee. Okay, so let's go ahead and repair myself. All right. Oh, yeah, these ends I can shoot. Oh, 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 is that a, yes, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. No. No, no, no. Uh, how do I get him? Okay. 16 colonists alive. <laughs> okay. This is so hard. Okay. Where are the colonists? Okay, these are non colonists. Okay, we got some colonists over. Ah, damn. Okay. Okay. I ended up having to melee them anyway. Damn it. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll do that. Okay, so we need another one over there. Okay. Oh, oh, no, no, no. 
Yay, okay, I finally used one of them, right? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna just go ahead and do this. Yeah. Too many. And I have extra left over, so. There's the crank. Can you make sense of the controls, Commander? Okay, there we go. I got all of them alive. They're all alive! Yes! I am so good. Okay, let me save this. Because that was a horrifyingly bad time. I tried to fight it, but it gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. I was supposed to be their leader. These people trusted me. It wants me to stop you, but I won't. Don't do it, fight in. Don't do I it. Won't. Damn it. All right. Well, he died. Okay, so we're going to go down. Zero Renegade, 32 Paragon! Hold on. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. And I got leveled up. So I'm gonna go with throw and lift. Yes. Yeah. Oh wait, hold on. <gasps> Undo. I just saved it, so I'm just gonna go back. Sorry. Oh yeah, okay, I'm gonna go with charm so I can unlock all of the... Wait a minute. What happened to my thing? Oh, I can't believe like I'm now here and that guy, I really wanted to save that guy because I've never saved him before. So it's really annoying actually. <laughs> That's really annoying. The guy was a total douche, but like still, I just wanted to see what it was like. I think the only way that you could save that guy though is if you do this mission fourth, and last time I did it second, and then this time I did it third, and there's people here. Why aren't you killing? Okay, by the numbers. We just need to find... Find... What is that? That does not look like any plan I've ever seen. This may be... Problematic. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You gave something to Saren, something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. I won't let you keep your thralls. Release them, now. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood will- mm. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Where did she go? Oh, there she is. Oh, yeah, there he is. There he is. Oh, there they are too. Oh, look at my amazing team helping me. Okay.
Oh yeah. This is so much easier than the first time because I had left such a higher level this time around. Is there okay? I know I'm gonna be super annoying the whole way through. Okay, hold on. What do I have to don't I have to shoot something? No? Oh yeah, this. Yeah, there we go. Got one of them. Oh, suck to be you, Thorian. Oh my god. Why is that the case? Oh. And now he's gonna produce another Rosari. Yeah. That's creepy. That is creepy. Um. Alright. Uh. Wait, what about behind us? Why aren't they coming at us? So weird. Why aren't they coming at us from behind? Okay. I'll worry about the ones that are. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is a weird sound. get that's what you get I think I have to now oh now they're gone well I don't understand this hold on a second where do I go oh it must be up here it must be up here hold on hold on I just realized I want to change weapons no yes thank you Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. Where where is it? Did I miss another thingy to fire off of? I miss one in here? No? Okay, got it. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's more in here over here. All right. Okay, let's light, light mom all up. Boom. What? team kill it they probably killed it they better than me at this game oh oh no there we go okay hey what's in here oh Okay, let's put over here. Ooh, we got some more stuff. I really wonder what kind of weapon we were gonna have after this mission. Oh! Okay. What is that noise, K1? Oh no. I can't save? No! Let me save the game, please! Why? Why can't I save it? Damn it! That means I have to do this every time I film. That's really annoying, but whatever. 
No, bitch. No, bitch. No. Oh, yeah, she's up there. Alright. I love, like, fighting those Asari. It's fun. <laughs> okay, so that's the last one. Can I save it now? Yes! Oh! That is so epic. Okay. Well, oh, they're coming from behind? Wait, where are they coming from? They're above us. How do I get up there, though? Huh? They're looking above. Uh, do I go down here? Oh, yes, here, okay. All right. There they are. There's so much splashing. Okay, hold on. I wanna save it. Gotta kill these last two. Okay, one more. Bye. Okay, where do I go now? Oh, is that it? No. Oh, man, there's more. OMG. Got them all. I'm free. I... I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine. Or... I will be. In time. My name is Shiala. I serve... I, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. Sounds like you Asari got in over your heads for once. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel. An enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of his existence. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? 
The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. I need that knowledge to stop Saren. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. What just happened? Are you okay? I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. You look a little queasy. We should get you back to the ship. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the Cypher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the Beacon. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. But I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. Tell me more about this ship Saren has. Sovereign is alien. I do not know how it was built or where it comes from. Its design does not match that of any known spacefaring species. It dwarfs any vessel in the Citadel or Alliance fleets. Its weapons are devastating. Its defenses virtually impenetrable. With it, 
Saren believes he is unstoppable. You said Saren uses it to manipulate his followers. The indoctrination. There is an energy about Sovereign. You feel drawn to the ship. It makes Saren's arguments more persuasive, more compelling. Spend enough time in Sovereign's presence and you will lose yourself. There is no other way to explain it. I want to know more about Benezia. Benezia was greatly respected among our people. A powerful biotic, even for an Asari. She was widely known as a teacher of philosophy and religion. She always sought the paths of peace and harmony. She joined with Saren because she hoped to turn him away from his path of destruction. Instead, she became one of his most powerful allies. As I mentioned before, Matriarch Benezia underestimated Saren. Be sure you do not make the same mistake. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic, and he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature, but now I see he's leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. You did it. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. No problem. I hope Exogeny learned their lesson. It's nice to finally get the support we deserve. We'll start over. What else can Oh, thanks again. That data will be very valuable once. I hope Exogeny learned from this. Hopefully everyone leaves us alone for a while. Exogeny better fund us like they agreed to in the first place. I hope everyone just leaves us in peace now. We'll make it. It'll be rough, but we'll make it. Alright. So I am getting the heck off this rock. Oh, is there nothing over there? Oh. I was waiting this whole time to go see uh, this uh, space, and there's just nothing there. I never thought I would be so thrilled to see a soldier. Forgive my previous inaction, but under the Thorian's influence, every thought was examined and filtered. Uh, okay, so what are your plans now? What will you do now that the fighting is over? I may stay, try to recover my losses. I can have new supplies delivered within weeks. Perhaps the colony will survive after all. Goodbye. I wish you well in your future efforts. I don't want to buy anything. Finally, that damn thing is out of my head. I can think without pain. And with the power cells you brought, I can get this place up and running again. Thanks, Commander. You're welcome. It will take time for things to get back to normal around here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where is five freaking Dan? Is he over? Oh, no, no. He died, didn't he? <laughs> I'm looking for Fi Dan. He's dead, Stu. Um, okay, hold on. Let me see if there's anyone else. I don't think there's going to be anyone in there, if I'm being totally real. But there may be this girl. Yes! I knew it! Ha ha! Free. I can't uh, believe I'm free. Thank you for everything you tried to do here. I'm free. Thank you for giving me my mind back. You're welcome. I like I said, I'm a hero. Oh, there's more people here. Oh yeah, this girl. Thanks, Commander. It's great to be free again. You were at the Skillian Blitz, right? Yep. Barrows will be back in shape in no time. I have my own thoughts again. Thank you, Commander. You're welcome. Okay, so that's basically me done here, I'm pretty sure. This bitch, let me talk to you. Thank you for freeing us. That's all you have to say? You are so rude to me. You are so rude to me. I cannot believe you. An apology goes a long way, just saying. All right, and that is basically it for this part because it has been a long one and we finished the major mission. I'm so excited, guys. We are going to eventually be done this game 
bittersweet for sure. But I am so excited to do all this with y'all. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next part. Bye for now.